What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off our last time, um, the Spanish keep sending raiding armies after me. The Ottomans look like they're going to try and actually attack me. So I've recalled my army back from my Spanish campaign. Um, ready to try and attack them as soon as they disembark. We do have fire by rank though, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, but without further ado, let's attack and destroy. I'm pretty sure I must have some sort of uh, problem with the leads that, <laughs> that connects my microphone to my computer because I'm starting to get these weird um, black screen of deaths happening. Not even black screen of deaths, but you know, my recording gets cut for unknown reasons. So my aim here is to shred the Spanish with musket fire and then mow them down with cavalry as they flee like little children. Oh god! My reinforcements are here so the battle is going to happen over there instead. Okay, Enrico, you go out of the, you go over there to safety. My cavalry peels off. So the reason why I didn't mess around with my reinforcements is because I was not really bothering to use them. So let's make sure we run our infantry in. Let's get my artillery just out of the way. Let's also get my cavalry to go and attack these marines. It's Infanterie de Marina. Artillery that's unlimbered. You guys get up onto this hill. Always take advantage of an opportunity to chew up a foot guard regiment. It's too bad my artillery is not going to get as much involvement in this battle. Militia. Need to eviscerate. Is this their general unit? <laughs> it is. There we go. They've reached our battle line. They've suddenly realised, oh crap! They can shoot their guns much faster than we can. starts to get into position. Well, let's commit you guys in to make sure you start engaging them. Weak regiment of horse can go chase down the chase down the swine that are trying to flee. So let's try and knock out 
this unit. Although it looks like things have gone awry. Infantry away. Fly by ranks, kill them. So halt their fly by rank. Pivot my formation. Is that light foot? It is light foot. My general can have at them. Go for the Swiss Line Infantry first. My unit up on the hill over here is going to deal with the Marines. This could be a very delicious route. Want to head over to that flank. You guys can wait here. In terms of bodyguard, go intercept. Absolutely continue. Start to speed up time, because right now. Hold the artillery fire. You guys probably aren't going to kill the Spanish Marines. Actually, you go there. You guys just massacre them. Okay, you've they've routed here. All of my cavalry is currently committed. In destroying the enemy. They're going to routes, which is a shame. Go after the Swiss Light Infantry, because... We'll make sure you kill this lone guy over here. Go on, Ryder, get him! The Ryder got him. These are all that remain. These four regiment of foot. Poor soul. Decisive victory. So the hope was to try and kill them with as few casualties as possible. 174 does the ticket. So you guys can replenish. Let's send... I send. Okay, I can send infantry. So I send cavalry, pikes, two militia, and my weak infantry unit. God damn, did we lose 358 men? <sighs> but we're ready. We're ready for what the Ottomans plan to do. This army will move south, ready to attack Naples. My main army up here will be ready to hopefully destroy this first army, because lots of chaff units and not much artillery. Then move on and march on Venice. Enrico Capotto has got aggressive attacker, and Rafael Genovese, this guy, he also got he got confident general. Which is pretty damn handy. Okay, don't bother wasting your time on carbines. Already unfortunately you have. Um, 
some sort of farming I'm going to have to sort out. Do we do social contract? Yes. Town wealth and tech research rate. Cool. I'm going to quickly sort out what my friend's porridge me about on Discord just so he doesn't keep going on with it. So just one sec, guys. Ironically, he hit me up just to tell me that he was going. <laughs> uh, cool. So you guys, yeah, you guys march down ready to retake Naples. Because I doubt this is just an opportunity for them to attack this Spanish navy. Because I don't think they're at war. Nope. So this is to land troops. So we'd like to yeah, rebuild this trade port. Let's hit enter. God damn. Every opportunity I've have I've had to try and expand my influence somewhere else. Some other some other faction has come along and just gone, oh no 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 no. You can't do that. You must Oh dear. Good, they've not okay. They've not declared every turn the ottomans don't declare is time i've got to rebuild my microphone span around sorry if i was a bit quiet for the last minute go on barbary states clear out the spanish of course this puts me in a bit of a pickle now where do i focus if they don't declare on me. So you guys need to get two units of infantry. Let's get two units of grenadiers. That's probably a good idea. Let's also rebuild Weaver's Cottage. Siamo pronti. It is tempting to sail these guys down to try and start to attack the Barbary States. Very tempting indeed. Let's repair this. De May end up having to increase my taxes to reduce growth because I need I need money now. I just I just do. Someone's got a mistress. I mean, socket bayonet would be handy, but I don't really have much of an. Don't really have that much of an industry to support. Well, common land enclosures would be handy, but I need cash. Hmm. I suppose this will do. Well, let's get them down toward the Naples border because we know it's gonna, we know it's gonna happen. They're probably gonna send this army into Blitz around the north as well. But we got to do what we got to do. Especially with the Spanish navy being as strong as it is. They don't want to move their fleet, which is frustrating. Yeah, they still do have a lot of troops organised around Italy. Here comes another navy. Swapping ships. What to do? This might be handy because they're already allies with the Ottomans. Hmm. I've got a lot of enemies. I think I do it. 
as a hedge in the event of the Ottomans declaring war. Because maybe they might back me. It's a, Well, in retrospect, it's actually quite unlikely they'll back me. Got another gentleman. Two gentlemen have not moved. Especially you. Plus one for enlightenment, plus one for military. You reduce religious unrest and increase clamour for reform. Okay, I might pick up a fifth rate to collect these guys. Well, oh, that's a gamble. No, let's keep them. I can't deposit them on on sh on land. I need to get these guys. So the problem was I couldn't get the only place I could dump them was off the coast of Tunis, which isn't quite where I'd like to go. Like try and maybe go for Algiers, but I couldn't if I deposited my troops. On land, there was a risk that my ships would be stuck and they would be destroyed by the Spanish fleet. So the question is, do I just build this army up into another army? Maybe not as good, an army that's not as good. But another army, but an army nonetheless, and land it, say, off Cagliari. It earns us another 600 tax income. So this army's pretty pretty equipped. Because I put it on provincial cav because that's cheap. Not not regular line infantry. I don't really want militia. But something to beef them out a bit more. So I can land and so I can go on the offensive, because right now I'm like a little cage mouse. Caged mouse. But that is off-putting, for sure. I can't realistically move my main force out of Italy, knowing that the Ottomans might just drop an absolute clangor on me. But at the same time, I can't afford to... I can't afford to um, go on the offensive either. I mean, yeah, it definitely looks like they want to go to war because they're moving more troops westward. They're going to go pick up another army? Yep. Oh, yeah, they are. They are positioning for the assault. So I want to build up my navy, really, to try and fight them off. Or to get in a position to maybe ambush a stack or two. Hmm. Social contract. Okay, then you start to work on things like common land enclosures because I've got plenty of farms or slightly unorthodox route do I move these guys back to Rome no, do I move these guys to Rome and I'm hunker down ship these guys to Madrid capture Madrid and that way if it all goes to hell here in Italy I'll still have a capital city in Europe that's pretty good. That might be a plan, because right now um, I'm not really achieving anything. So let's take you guys back to... Well, well I mean, they're definitely moving on me, because look. 
But I don't know how much longer I want to sit here and just absorb the punch when it comes. It's tempting to move them here and hope to try and catch them on a, in a bridge assault. But even then, if I'd land, if I stood here and they attacked me, I'd be defending on both sides. Hmm. It's a poser. There's, there's an outside chance I could actually get there Ca and capture Madrid. And if I did, I can then re-engage in the attack on the attack on Italy, Italy oh man the agony of choice because right now all I'm doing is letting them get all their ducks in a row and their fleet isn't good it's lots of brigs and galleys and lots of junk So it might make sense to start to build. To be honest, I could, I could build. I can build two fifth rates a turn by building one in each port and gather them. Hmm. Let's play it out a couple of turns. See what happens. Worst comes to the worst, I'll take a full stack. I'll sail over to Spain and try and win in Spain, and then I'll. You know, I'll be an exiled, <laughs> exiled Italian government, but over in Spain. And then I'll fight my new war. I'll take Gibraltar, I'll march up to take Paris. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's see if the Mughal allies back me. They refuse to join my side, which is to be expected. I mean, I might. I'm tempted to try auto resolve this. The chances are low, but if we kill them, we sink that army. So I'm sure I've got to. No, oh, we lost five ships. No, oh, no, my navy's destroyed. <laughs> okay, I think I'm technically dead. Well, not technically dead, but you know, that was my. Oh, damn, that was so dumb. That was the the navy in my. In my um, home port, if you like. So I'm not going to get any money. Or very little, anyway. Hmm. Grand. But at least they've moved all their armies over to the east, which is helpful. Signore. So you guys could can boot them out. Well, I'm pretty sure I've got to hunker them down here. My reinforcements have gone with them. So I've. <laughs> Very okay, we're gonna do minus four sixty next turn. What do we march this army here? You try to chase them down. These guys go on the offensive. Let's go try and they got no mortars, which is good. So let's go and let's go on the offensive, I suppose. We've got an opportunity to try and destroy an army. I don't really think I have much choice. I could sail and try and flee and try and take Madrid. But let's try getting on fighting. If they've declared on us, we've got to try and... Okay, I've declared on them, but I absolutely want them to come and attack me. Why is my... 
Okay. Okay, it wasn't making any of the sound effects that I'm used to. Garrison. Set up our battle line. I don't want to be heroic. I don't want to do a fantastic job. I don't want to play differently. I just want to annihilate them. Because Venice is going to have to... Oh, that's, a bad, that's a bad artillery position. I think I have to shift my whole formation over. Or... Do I do something like this? My artillery constantly sits above. I form a defensive pocket. It's cheap, but... You know, we've got to defeat some stacks as efficiently as possible here. I have no cash. Get my general back. So let me artillery pound him for as long as possible. Although their artillery is in a, a bunker. They're aiming for my pikes. So I want to see if they do move up. Because the, the worst thing that could happen is that they decide to just reform their line and decide they're not going to move. They're going to stay where they are. Took out one of their guns. Okay, we've shaped. We've taken out two of their artillery pieces. That's pretty good. Come on, make them rout. I'm pretty sure I've soon got to start picking battlefield targets. So this gun team start to hit that unit Viserades, you start to hit that unit of Zemondari Pikemen. Sorry guys, I've got to sneeze one second. Okie doke. And I'm back. So I'm going to move another pike unit onto this flank. Probably my other pikemen as well. They are going wide around... Well, you're just setting up a new line. I mean, these guys are as well, but... Plowing artillery fire into them now. So let's speed up time because I want them to make the attack. Let's get all my guys to focus fire on their field units. First and foremost. Okay, so now they are deciding to reform their line. So that's a decent time. To form the advance. To form an advance. these guys is a bit of a not a counter stroke but just to make sure our line is secure on this flank because they are now not in formation for my guys to begin opening up so there's their pikemen it's 
Boston Ford Regiment of Horse immediately. Let's bring forward, bring over some of my other cavalry. No, you guys stay in guard mode. Probably going to get it get counter charged. But keeping these guys routing would be a very good win. Let's retarget our artillery. Yep, their horsemen are coming in. So are their units on the right. chase down their units to hopefully make them shatter. Okay, their cavalry is getting fired upon by my artillery. lucky because they are trying to engage us more horsemen moving in shattered kick okay, after them as well nope they're already routing so don't worry my guys are upset I am aware that their cavalry, their artillery is also now exposed quite severely. Once these guys are shattered, which they should be soon. Now they're being shot by bow fire from the horsemen. So I've missed my chance to knock out their guns. Partially. So I can run into their cavalry. Then try to run through. They're pushing up on the right, which is scary. push through form a new flank it is worth sacrificing what limited horsemen I have to get the route you guys form up let's keep let's get well right now this is where the melee effort is So where's my in at risk cavalry? At risk cavalry is at risk, but that's okay. You guys pound the Israeli unit in the flank. The regiment of horse charge on into the mass of men. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Routing. form up. Still got some pikemen, so I'll make sure these guys target the pikes. You guys, okay, they're dead. Yeah, keep, 
keep killing them, I reckon. So we've got, we do have lots of loose cavalry around. Good, they've been routed. You guys hunker down in square. Okay, the Cerades have charged against me, charged it back into my cavalry once more. Who are you? Horsemen. Artillery, you hit that horse unit. You guys go for the pikes. It's time to waver. My cavalry have made it back to the safety of my lines. Right when they're about to be. I mean, that's a terrible firing point. Good. The artillery have done good. Sorelli units formed up. However, my fire by rank is doing gangbusters. Maybe not for you, Grenadiers, so much. So let's go for some artillery. And let's speed up time. These guys are being fired upon by everything. Everyone is routing. All my artillery go after these horsemen. Actually, no, one unit go after this infantry unit. The others go after the horsemen. Because right now, they've been smacked. My cavalry contingent is not... Well, it could be strong enough to take them out. Although, to be honest, it's probably worth just focus firing their cavalry as it's their general. Well, Captain. El Capitano. So you're not out of range, you're just not getting the... Which is not very accurate. <laughs> you're getting the odd kill. Shaken. They're confident. Yeah, I think I'm going to plink at a distance with artillery now, because there's no point in attacking end battle. Heroic victory, Federico Cabotto. So that's Venice, which is ours, which is another very nice tax base. Well, I say that. My tax base is worth very little. So... Let's, okay, good. Okay, excellent. So let's tra trade with... No, come on. 13 colonies, trade. Counter offer, no. Neither of these trade region... Neither of these region swaps. Oh, come on. Well, you've got to try to take... Well, you're not going to take them out. You're going to try and run. Back to Rome. That's what you're going to try and do. God, I think I might have... <laughs> maybe have made things worse. But now what I have done... I've, take, I've taken gains, but I don't need to hold them. I've taken Venice... But the main win was destroying a stack of troops. If they want it, they can have it. I'm going to try and tax it for a turn and earn a handful of cash. Signore, 
I vostri ordini. While trying to bring these guys back. Because they're a risk. I'd like to try take Naples, give it to... Oh, god damn, Naples. One and a half grand to turn. But we've taken Venice. Let's hit end turn. And see what happens. Because at the very least, if I manage to delay the Ottoman forces by a turn in trying to recapture Venice, that's still a, still a good win, I think. So let's see, I'm, I'm well over my part time limit, so I'm going to hit the end recording here soon, but... So the Ottomans aren't landing their troops. <gasps> That's big. They pulled that army back. They're still going to try and cause trouble for me over in one of my other regions. Like, oh, they've not got to Rome. So maybe... My garrison force I've got, they might be enough to hold them off. No, I want to send an army down to go retake Naples. I can't allow this slur to stand. And I should get more money this turn because I've fixed my port and they've stopped trying to kill me for it. Because right now, Spain is a frustration. They've got other worries one would hope the prussians though look at the prussians they've been f they've, they've just spearheaded straight into into polish territory and i hope they're now at war with the ottomans so i've got common land enclosures oh yes this is perfect so i can bring my main force down to venice to withstand them, this other force can hold, not push in directly yet. We are bankrupt, actually. That's very bad. So they not fix you. Well, let's get a cavalry unit in there. I'm not building anything, am I? Stop building you guys. Well, let's disband you guys. Oh, it's because they're... They've been very naughty. There's no way to immediately get tech is money, is there? Unless I sell. Demand cheeky thousand. Okay, who am I actually friendly with? Britain. Okay, that's not worth very much. But I'll try to get a grand for it. Good. What about Portugal? Give you square just to try and. Ah, damn. Persia, you've you've held with me, thick and thin, thick and thin. Take plug bayonet, and I'll demand two grand off of that. Nope. Okay. What about just one? I'm still 1300 in the hole which is obviously really bad maybe this might be enough to actually get a limited piece nope what about France now peace and trade nope trade and I'll give you ring bayonets Trade and I'll give you ring bayonet. You want Lombardy? You're going to give me all of that. Improved grenades, husbandry, spinning jenny, carbines, and what? I don't want to give away my territory now. Um, hmm. It's a pickle. So let's. Okay, so we're going to have to disband some of our units. So let's. Well, let's do some easy. Not disbanding, but let's. Uh, Combine my units first to see if there are any easy candidates for disbanding. You my provision, yeah, your provincial line. Okay, you're ripe. Twelve hundred. 
let's get rid of my demi cannons. Yes, yeah, so let's get rid of two of my regiments of demi cannons because I don't really need them inside the fort. 900. And a unit of cavalry. Need to find 700, which is probably going to be like something like that. 200 is. Pikes and militia, maybe. Slightly positive. But we only need to survive the next turn to get this port build it built again. Then we can crush this army if they march on Rome. I mean, they, they're, we're very, they're very unhappy because they're bankrupt. But we can repel this army. These guys can go down and take Naples. Then we should be flying again. Well, ish. It's never a good thing to be saying, oh, it's okay, if they just siege our capital, then we'll just do this. Because <laughs> we still may end up getting a bunch of really bad units to defend Rome. So I'd still like to blow a hole in the wall <laughs> at Rome and get them all pouring through a breach. Oh, I didn't check if they were at war with... Well, they're definitely at war with Poland. I mean, okay. It's obviously bad. Yeah, attack him. Hey, they lost four ships. But they captured my six. Whoa, we're definitely going to fight this. Look, oh, look at this. <laughs> if I was attacking this, I'd be terrified. But if I'm defending it, that's abysmal. Um, radio. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the defense of Rome. Cheers, everyone.